Hello, hello, it's the Horsey Shan Show. Diddly dee. Get out the door. Hi everyone. Very different day today. Very autumnal, but raining and very cold. I haven't, haven't put enough clothes on, so I'll warm myself up by doing a bit of um, mucking out. And later on this afternoon, I'm gonna do some groundwork with Chief and go over to Izzy's, or she's coming over here or whatever. Um, rain or no rain. It's got to that time of year when you've just got to soldier on. <laughs> so you're gonna get wet. There's gonna be dog towels. There's gonna be a lot of washing. There's gonna be a lot of muddy paws. <laughs> A lot of grooming, a lot of muddy horses, but hey ho, it's the seasons for you. Right, onward. Okie dokie, everybody's got some lunch. Well, they're just finishing theirs off because they didn't get a lot. I don't know if you noticed, but Dylan left his haylage and went off to nibble the straw again, which we don't mind because it's not as fattening with his little round tummy that he's got at the minute that we need to get rid of. Um, yep, the uh, pheasants, they've had their lunch. Me and Little Ripper just going for our lunch, so to warm up a bit. Actually, there was one thing as well that I just thought of, I was gonna mention the other day, and it concerns a little rip. Come here, little rip. <laughs> so you probably noticed that he barks at the horses quite a lot. And then when they're going out in the field or if they're moving about, he runs around after them. And he runs around after they're quite close to their back legs and everything. Well, he's a collie 
and actually I, I know these horses it's very rare that they'll actually um, even acknowledge that he's there these three but he is he is a collie so it is you know I know I'm tempting fate here but it is a little bit different they do they do know what they do when they're around the back of animals feet <laughs> heels um, but there's one thing one really really good thing that's that comes out of all this is that if we're out on a ride and a dog happens to run up to us or or even not run up to us but just walk around the back of the horses they do nothing absolutely nothing so it can be oh, rips going because he's frightened of the pheasant God, what is it like um so it, it's kind of like he the collie because we've had other collies as well um before rip and they've become the horses are desensitized to it so if a collie can be racing around behind them and uh we had our last collie um actually was we think he was um, a former cow dog so he would actually nip the heels so even that not bite them and, and mark them or anything but do you know what i mean how they do how they work cattle they put their um put their jaws around the the cow's heel and sort of push the cow along so um that has just really been so beneficial uh, as in regards of we've been on a ride i was on a ride through the village once and a dog ran out of a, a driveway and jumped up um at the at my at my horse behind sort of on a rump i suppose like a lion would or a wild dog would and you know what she did nothing she did absolutely nothing so it is beneficial but he sometimes just does bark too much i will agree to that <laughs> anyway we're off for lunch see you later